Lol. Today we're going to run our channel, today we shall spin some genius crystals, followed by some 4 star hero crystal. Let's start off with some genius crystal. So this is the genius crystal. Let's see what will we get from this cool crystal. Looks very similar to the nightcrawler crystal. I mean, bees and nightcrawler they are all blue in colour. Got this blue blood in them. They're not Navi though, they're not. Those kind of creatures. Interesting. Speaking of blue, we got a green vision. Hmm, vision does have hues of green, red, basically green, red, yellow. Basic, basic colors that he has for vision. So this is the genius crystal. Because this is kind of a genius. The this, the what do you call it? Spaceship, no, not spaceship, it's the aircraft. Look at what's the term for the aircraft. Let me see. Term for the aircraft. So, not Star Wars. X Men. Aircraft. Name. So the name of the aircraft is Blackbird. Blackbird. So, let's see if I'm not wrong. It is designed. Well, according to the movies designed by the Beast, which exploded and dealt quite a bit of a damage. So nice, you got to choose some magic. It'd be nice to get a different kind of magic. I mean, this skin looks very agey. It'd be nice to get some like Phoenix Force kind of magic or Phoenix Force event. That'd be great. Now spinning this shiny crystal, which usually just gives me shots. Yeah, shots. Again, more shots. Now for the four star hero crystal. Four star hero crystal. The four star hero crystal is time for another four star hero crystal. See what I get. See what I get. Maybe I'll get something decent. Let's see what will this be. Though the cutout for the beast is just crazy, but not as crazy as civil war. It is comparable. Colors are still crazy high. Still kept at 400 despite the number of new people coming in. So if you just join the Marvel Counter Champion, it's way easier for you to get it. Cause the cutoff will be different because you have few people to compete with, new folks. But then again, once you progress into this crazy tier, this crazy bracket, this is impossible to escape from. Wow, nice, you got a science level up crystal. Let's see Venom Bruce Crystals, two of them, let's just open, spin them, let's see what they get. So about Blackbird, it's a cool kind of, it's a very cool kind of aircraft, stealth, compass. Does it have stealth? Looks like it could have stealth. It's black, it's cool, looks like a spaceship, feels like a spaceship. How nice if they have more space adventures, it would be nice if they have a different kind of, then again, this game is set in the space kind of spaceship kind of stuff. As you can see, in the spaceship stuff. And this is the spaceship stuff where they keep all the heroes, where they release them from their crystal self. Very depressing how all the heroes have turn to crystals. And there are these weird kind of catalyst stuff that powers them. So these are the weird catalyst stuff. And probably the inspiration comes from the you know, molecular structure of you know, the bone kind of model. Let me see. There should be a term for this. Let me take a look. So, what is the name of this model? It is chemical bonding model. Theoretical models used to explain atomic bonding structure, molecular geometry, and properties and reactivity of physical matter. So, this is the classic model which influence the Kabam designers Kabam basically the art designer, art writer and you decide to write the stuff, write the story and they'll probably influence by chemistry maybe they are chemistry majors chemistry majors are jumping into Kabam doing some cool stuff so you have science champions they start to classify champions into different groups they decide which are science champions which are mystic which are mutant 
cosmic mystic though the inflow of they go into Newton is a bit uh, uh, it's more of a science character in terms of how he came up to be <coughs> but in terms of affiliation people can be classified as a yeah, I mean, a science or a skill champion in that case, nah, but I've well, always wanted to be a mutant, so in some time, in some storyline, so that's why maybe they decided to be a mutant for that case and that scenario. Of course, there are a few more questionable choices. So, Cosmic Triumph's tech. This is a given because of Cosmic Triumph, uh, Cosmic is more powerful than tech. Mystic Triumphs Cosmic because Mystic is a Mystic Arts but somehow Science Triumphs Mystic because Science doesn't give up so it's a very fact against Mystic because of Science against Witch Hunts maybe Witch Hunting kind of history and lore just got into it how the Science just burn the witches so maybe this way Science is better than Mystic and Skill is better than Science because if you're skilled enough you can take down the Science Champs that much of a problem, which leads to some kind of weird stuff, especially with Hulk and Abomination being taken down by Hulk High. Yeah, that doesn't really quite make much sense. <coughs> then you have the science is very good, so scale is very good against scale is not very good against mutants because mutants are kind of strong and mutated. Then again, hmm. Why are mutants strong against skill? Because skill doesn't have any mutant powers, true. But skills can try and do science foods, and science foods have some kind of similarly a little more powerful power, but how would they this like hawk and abomination? And again you have characters such as Ant Man, so a science character. Skill character should be able to take them down. Yeah, the logic flows in that sense. So Alliance Quest kind of series is coming to an end soon, so there'll be a new Alliance Quest series for Remax 6 so they're coming out. Probably come back with Milk Us further. We'll see. Though the interface should change, especially the Crystal interface. Crystal interface could do a great change. She has been the same interface all the time. You see the Tall Hammer, the Cat America Shoe, the weird Tiki Mask over there. There must be a Scalibur right there behind there. Right? It's a skeleton, right? It is not a skeleton, it's some kind of a long sword, some kind of demon long sword perhaps? Not too sure about that. Hmm. I'm not too impressed with beasts. Seems weaker than Nightcrawler in terms of abilities wise. But given that the change they'll do to bleed and all the multiple stacks, MM might be viable again. MM might be viable with the change in real power coming soon. And the new master is coming pretty soon, you probably you know a few days you see those changes. Big sweeping changes. And I'll decide what master you choose, but before then we shall just we shall see. Take, take a look out for it. And probably there'll be a new realm of legends coming soon. They have been talking of this new realm of legends coming soon for a very long time now. Probably we'll see them soon. Hopefully they'll have miserable rewards. So mm -hmm. So far this has been a 2 star fiasco with this PHC. Mm, black bolts. Classic black bolt. Maybe they should do some more human stuff, they'll be decent. Humans will be great. Yeah, on the moon, maybe they should do a moon kind of I mean they're in space, right? They just, just fly over to the moon. Maybe they just come up with some human stuff, it'll be fine. House of M will be great, with Scarlet Witch, no more mutants, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Maybe this means that no mutants means that there are not no mutants allowed it. So Mystic is good against mutant in some cases. I mean Scarlet Witch is wiped out most of mutants powers. Mystic should be good against mutants that makes so much more sense. Tech is definitely good against mutants in terms of some of the technologies being used by you can use tech as a trump card as anything. You just say you can tag the counter it. But tech can't really come to cosmic, because cosmic is just some kind of cosmic entity, but somehow cosmic entity is undone by mystic. Mm. Mm. Opening method does improve my chances, seems like I got a tree start from this. Iron Rage. I remember how Hotbuster was all the rage back then one year ago. Mm. Might be more viable given that now that the upcoming change, willpower will 
No, just will not come for multiple stacks or particle debuff, so his armor break will be all useful instead of giving the opponent massive heals. The opponent will suffer massive damage from the reduced armor. And that's all, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, see you again soon, and good luck for the crystals. Don't be as unlucky as me. See ya!